this push. Now in comes, it looks like, two golems on the top and two on the bottom. Both of them are together. A couple wall breakers go in. Crack open the core, followed by some spread whiz. He's got a pretty good funnel. All of the four golems are pushing into the middle. Drops the Grand Warden and his royals. So everything is just kind of pushing core at this particular point. He's already got a freeze down on that first inferno. But the freeze wears off. Everything is using that jump spell and pushing in towards the town hall. And now under fire. It looks like those golems are soaking up a lot of the damage from the inferno. And the inferno eventually goes down. His king is still up. But naturally, as so often happens, the king is pushed ahead of the golems and is taking not only one of the streams from the inferno, but a lot of damage. The archer queen follows up behind everything and right now is locked on and is shooting that town hall. And it looks like it's going to be able to take it out, and it does. So there is the single star. Let's find out if he can push for the two. So we've got the archer tower just sitting and is able to use that jump spell and actually if you'll notice the jump spell isn't even over that corner but it jumps over to where that cannon is and fails and it looks like all of the remainder of the troops have just gotten chewed up by those Teslas in the corner the Inferno and that Expo so the last troop goes down and he sits at a 47 percent one star so the best thing about the 47 percent one star is that it is not a 47% uh, no star. So it looks like Stank got the better of Gino on this one. Kudos to Stank. And uh, so sorry, Gino, on that particular loss. But it was nice of Gino to at least try something new with that uh, Archer Queen or uh, the Queen Walk. Uh, it just didn't work in this particular case.